I knew you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! Stop! Please stop, Father! I know. I've known for ages. I know why you threw away your crystal ball. You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune-telling. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but... You were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Ah. Oh. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Calderasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune-telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, Father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I, I want to... To see it for myself. I want to see the great Calderasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, Father. Oh, my sweet Valentina. So, you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You... I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. Many years have passed since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. What, what is this? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. Yes, the mists are clearing. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes, yes, the mists are clearing. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed. But there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos's former pupil, Dulmagos! 
，哎，我我。Gav, he said don't make us, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician you and the old granddad are after, isn't it? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else? Let me look deeper. Huh? What's this? Yes, no question. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Huh. It must have hit something very hard to do this damage. And look, someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? Halfwit? Who's the halfwit? What ignorant lowlife would do this to my crystal ball? You what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever, I'll oh, come and gov. What happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? Well? What? Domegus killed Master Rylus? The same Domegus we're looking for? That fiend killed his own teacher? And you say he headed south? Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him at once! Let's be on our way!
a mile off. This is for Alistair. Come on, Mash. Let's get him. Yes, sir, Bangers. Prepare to meet your maker. What on earth are you two rascals up to now? Where are your manners? That's no way to welcome travellers. Ow! Ow! Didn't Miss Jessica ask you to run an errand for her? And here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot! You'd better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> 